Howdy everyone, SD Mountain Man. So yeah, I had a request to show my knives and the what I've done for patina and talk about how I did it and whatnot, but I'm gonna <laughs> I planned on I planned on doing this earlier, but boy it cooled off fast. It's uh, as you can see 32 degrees in here out here in the shed. I hit the outdoor, it's 19, so uh, I'm gonna make this quick. My hands are cold already, just trying to get this set up. I got the truck sitting in here, so it's kind of taking up space. Make sure, oh, now what happened there? Not on the focus. There. Okay, let's try that. I'll try and get out of the way. Um, I guess I'll start off with my first one. Uh, I got two more. Uh, well, they're more 511s. Uh, most of mine I've taken and trimmed that little tab off. It's no use to me. So, And uh, I've added it onto the, the neck string a cheap ferro rod. But uh, this one here, one of my first attempts, I got I got another, uh, oh, I can't think of the name. The, kind of the more common one with the rubber handle or whatever. That, that uh, oh, shoot. I can't think of the name of it. That the the, the big, a little bit bigger, more same thing, plastic sheath and all that. Um, companion or whatever. Uh, I did the same thing to one of them that was carbon steel. I don't know if you can see there. This has had a bit of use, and so it's kind of wore wore some of it off and whatnot. And uh, I can maybe tell on the edge some of the ferro rod striking too. But uh, this one is just vinegar, I believe, or maybe no. Apple cider vinegar. The hot apple cider vinegar is what I did with this one. Uh, and the other one, I did, oh, I think I did like three of them. My grandson had one too or something like that. I did a bunch that day. Uh, took a little bit of time <laughs> microwaving that stuff just to get it uh, get it done. But just kept dipping it, rinse it off, let it dry and dip in it. And uh, it, it's this has been, I don't know, three, four years, I think, something like that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they, they do. That, that's that way wears off. I don't know. Uh, this is next in line. Uh, this is a BPS adventure that uh, JV Outdoors gave me when we went on our trip last fall there in September. Uh, on the ferro rod, I got jute twine. I took and braided up uh, jute twine, just three three strands of jute twine, just put a braid on it, had a little, so you got tinder right with you. This one, I'd start off. Um, I wanted that camera the other way so I could make sure it was in there. But uh, I started off with a banana peel, just kind of sticking it in a banana peel and squishing it down some weight on it. It really wasn't doing anything. And my thought for that was is because Dan and uh, down in the uh, Philippines, uh, Blind Owl Bushcraft, Blind Owl Outdoors, he, he's done that just in a banana tree. I thought, what, what the heck? Uh, bananas acidic. But... Uh, that didn't turn out, so I, it just wasn't doing nothing quick enough or didn't seem like it was doing much. So I washed that off. And this is tomato. Uh, this is this is about the coolest one, I think. I'd uh, stuck it in. I had two big, huge tomatoes and uh, that were bad and just stuck it in there. I'd take it out about every, I don't know, 24 hours to get home from work, take a look at it, stick it in a different direction or whatever. And uh, I don't know, about three days is probably what I've got into this one. And it turned out pretty cool. Anyway, that's that one. Um, I wanted to run the subject of BPS. This one here is the one that uh, I did the, I did the kind of review or comparison to the bush lower the condor bush lower it, this so this is a bps knife and my screw up with this one and the next one i didn't think about cleaning them with alcohol or dish soap i just went and did it i think don't want to so there's you see, you see that kind of glisten there's a couple shiny spots that didn't really take uh let me think now this one here, this was onion. Uh, there's a, no, it was on, oh, there's a spot right about here. It's kind of shiny too, and along the edge of the handle here. But uh, 
Yeah, that one was an onion. A couple big onions, actually, big enough to stick it in. Uh, but now this one, I've used, this one too, I've used it a little bit, so it's uh, not as... But right there, I, I should have cleaned it up. The one of them quick things, thinking I'm just going to hurry up and do this. I got the got the resources to do it and the time. Just did it and without thinking about cleaning them up beforehand. I'd, uh, most all my BPSs, I've taken the handles and sanded them. Uh, got them nice and smooth and then uh, uh, put boiled linseed oil on them. It's really taken care of. But... Uh, yeah, so that's that's onion on that one, and I wish I'd have done. I probably have to clean that up with some carb cleaner, take the handles off, re redo that at some point. But it turned out pretty cool. And at the same time I was doing that, I was doing this uh, 511. I'd got it, and uh, my local farm store had them pretty cheap. So I thought, what the heck? I'm gonna, as long as I'm working at this, I had grapefruit. And so this one here, you can really, yeah, this is. There's another one I forgot to clean up. There we go. Quit moving around and focus. A um, little bit of rust right there. You can see a shiny spot right there. If I get this right, maybe. Yeah, right even below it, there's a little mark. Um, anyway. Yeah, that was grapefruit. That didn't turn out too bad. Uh, oh, shoot. I didn't even think about it. Uh, I've got a... Oh... Charade. i got a couple different charades I've done. I think... Yeah, I think I... I did the same thing with them. Them might have been not apple cider vinegar heated up. Might have just been vinegar. Uh, them, oh... I can't think of the numbers now. I should have brought them up. Dang it, I forgot about them. They're the Frontier style or whatever. Kind of a... Kind of this shape. Can I get this shape blade? The one's just a little bit longer, a little bit longer than the other one. Really thick, thick blade to them. Oh, like, I don't want to, don't quote me, but like 36 and... I don't know. I'm just guessing. But, uh... They got the rubber handle on them. They got that rough coating on them. I peeled, I stripped that off of both of them and uh, done them both up black. The one, I, the little one, I did it kind of cool. I got so much to talk about. I wish I had that one. Um, what I did is I started off trying different things just to get it to go and didn't go. Mustard I tried and this and that. Wow, well, just wasn't, well, nothing was happening quick enough for me to see any results. And so I used taco sauce and uh, I made some lines in the blade, kind of like a little curved line like fins in the blade on both sides going the same direction and uh that turned out pretty cool after i got done doing the vinegar afterwards that taco sauce left them marks kind of orange in there so it's pretty cool shoot i wish i had brought that one out and forgot all about that but uh anyway that's uh i guess my only thoughts i'm putting a patina and i'm no expert it's i'm just a guy playing around with stuff trying stuff out but uh vinegar the vinegar route will leave that black film stuff on there and boy don't use your wife's good towel to wipe it off when you pull it out of the vinegar because you're gonna be in trouble but um anyway uh the vinegar vinegar does work the hot apple cider vinegar works uh the cool patterns come from the the fruits and vegetables type stuff as far as i'm concerned that's the kind of coolest or, uh, like I said, taco sauce. I don't know, mustard. Maybe mustard if you let it sit long enough. Uh, most of these, I only got about three days, maybe four days at the very most. Um, yeah, these two here might have been in the onion and the grapefruit, maybe four days. Uh, if that, if I really think about it. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, hope this helps uh, a few that were asking about it or thinking about it. Uh, definitely clean them up good. I'd clean them up good with alcohol or something like that before you do it. I didn't even think. I just, like I said, uh, quick project. Let's get after it, get it started. But anyway, that's about it for me. Uh, take care, everybody. SD Mountain Man out.